In this video, we're gonna talk about creating that newsletter. Maybe you have a weekly newsletter and you're always trying to come up with new ideas. You're not quite sure what to talk about. Hoppy Copy's got a lot of features to help us with our newsletter. So let's jump in and let me show you what I like to do. All right, so when you come here to the main page, you're gonna have newsletter. You can click on newsletter and it will show just those that are related to newsletter. Now you have the newsletter creator right here that, that you can do to just go create one newsletter. But I actually like this one a little bit better. It's called newsletter topic ideas because not only is it gonna give you lots of ideas, but it will also write the emails if you want them to write them. So let's click on this. Okay, so what is the newsletter about? your brand, your industry, and your specific topic. So let's say my brand is, and I have a kind of a newer website at the time of the recording, where I'm starting to talk about selling books and sports cards on eBay. And so I'm gonna call my brand for this particular one. We're gonna do the thrifty, let's do thrifty, reseller newsletter and the newsletter is about this newsletter is about selling books and sports cards on eBay target audience would be eBay sellers Select a tone, I'm gonna to go with my style. I'm gonna say don't include images and that is it, that's all you tell it. And watch this, this is when the magic happens. We're gonna hit create. And now what this is going to do, it's not gonna just write a single email and the formatting's a little off because I'm zoomed in quite a bit. What it will do is it's going to write lots of ideas that we can use and you can actually keep coming back to this well every single week and use these ideas. Let's, I think it's still messing with the formatting a little bit. So let's just do this here and we'll maybe zoom in here a little bit. Okay. All right, so the first one here you can see it has boost your eBay sales, the art of thrifty reselling. Now it's just showing this little here because it's an emoji, but it'll probably show the emoji once you hit right. So these are just showing you the idea of this particular weekly newsletter. And you could change any of these bullet points. You could add your own ideas in here. You could remove some of these, but here's how it comes out. So this one would be about selling books discuss the landscape of selling books on eBay and the potential for high profit margins, share personal success stories of finding valuable books. So I have one where my wife and I were out of town in Tampa Bay, Florida. And we came across a $2 book about, what was that about? It was about essential oils for dogs. Yeah, this is crazy, okay? <laughs> the true story. The book was selling on eBay for $75. All right, so I'm gonna just throw that in there because that's a true story that happened to us where we, sometimes you could do it when you're selling books on eBay. If you go to thrift stores and you pick up the book, if you scan a little barcode on the back with your eBay app, it'll show you what that book's been sold for on eBay. And sometimes you could come across the gym like we did when I know nothing about essential oil for dogs, but we scan that and we could see that it sold several times for around $70, $75. It was like, am I gonna buy it for $2? Absolutely. So fun story, I'm gonna throw that in there for that newsletter. 
Okay. That includes step-by-step -step guide on how to determine the resale value of books on eBay. Highlight some rare books that sold. So I'm going to, I don't want my newsletter to be too long. Provide tips about taking compelling photos of books for eBay listings. I'm going to move that to share a common mistake. All right, so this is what it's going to talk about in this one here. So now look at these. I'll come back to here and we're going to write this one. But look here, hot or not, the controversial world of sports card investing, how to cash in on holiday sports card and book sales from zero to hero, my journey from selling a thousand dollars worth of cards in 30 days. Now, this is you want this to be true, right? So I would adjust this. Like the first day I made, I would say maybe the first week. Well, let's see, selling thousand dollars worth of cards in 30 days. Yeah, we've sold more than that. So, so anyways, I would make sure that I'm using something that's accurate. The unlikely books and cards that can make you a fortune. So now if I wanted more, I could click on generate more down here and it's just going to generate more ideas. That's why I said you can continue to come back to this one thing and quickly write your newsletter. So let's write one, this one right here on the art of thrifty book reselling. So we're going to click the write button right here. And now it is going to write our newsletter. Isn't that cool? So there it goes. It's writing the story. It's hitting some of those other bullet points. It's a really good newsletter, is it not? Now you wanna look through it and make sure it's what you believe in your experience. If it's like bad advice, take it out of there, obviously. I read through every single one, but there you go. Now if I wanted to, I could flip back to the plan or I could regenerate the whole article I can also insert it into the document that's over on the blank side of the screen. I can also copy it if I wanted to throw it in another tool that I want to use it to edit there, or I could just delete it all together. I'm going to insert it into the document. So now I've got it over here and let's, I'm not going to sit here and read this whole story, but let's read this one. First things first, it's important to understand this selling books on eBay, isn't just about getting rid of old titles. It's about finding those high pro potential books, knowing how to price them. Here's a personal story for you. Now, I would probably take that one out and I would just go right into it. My wife and I were out of town in Tampa Bay, Florida. We stumbled upon a $2 book about essential oils for dogs. Who would have thought that book was listed for $75? I'm gonna actually say that book had sold on eBay for $75. It's more than 35 times the price we paid for it. Now, that's what I call a steal. And yes, about a month later, we accepted an offer and sold the book for $62. So see how I can do like a simple little edit. I can add it, but man, it just got it. Now determining the resale value step by step, common mistakes to avoid, underpricing your book, neglecting the book condition, not considering shipping costs. Those are all really good. I don't have a newsletter yet for this particular blog, but there you go. That is how you do that. And so I could keep coming back to this, in fact, I'm gonna make sure that I save this for when I do launch a newsletter for that particular blog that I am good to go. And I can keep dipping to the well and do a weekly email. Can you do this? Absolutely you can. I hope this is helpful to you. If you've got weekly newsletters, you've seen now how it works. All right, let's go on to the next video.